Oh, there's a bike. There's a bike. Ah, we are rolling. We can catch something now and get it on camera, man. Gotta keep the rest of the deer from falling in the water. Looks like a sheep, all right. Yeah. Pull a little dragger. You ain't got the bottom, do you? Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's pretty sure, buddy. Get him. Get him, buddy. Yeah, that's pretty sure. Look at Steve. Jen, can you grab the dip net behind us? Yeah, yeah. Just the dip net, Jen. All right. Stick it in the rod holder. Good fish, brother. Oh, yeah. I got her face. Yeah. Go back to the boat. Go to the back of the boat. Go to the back of the boat. Yeah, oh no, no. Oh no. What is that? Awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, big old croaker. Nice fish, dude. Good croaker. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, we don't go swimming. Oh, I just about, just about went overboard. That would have been on camera, too. What? That is a stud croaker, dude. Stud croaker. Good fish, buddy. Stud croaker, dude. Stud croaker. Good fish, buddy. What the heck? Well, I had to fix that. <laughs> Boy, that was almost catastrophic there. That was. <laughs> that's that's, that that's a big one, dude. That's a good one. Put him in the icebox. <laughs> I just about went over the side of this boat then. Yeah, I thought you had a sheep right there. That was a good croak. That's a little dinner tonight for you. Here, hold him up first. Let's get a shot of him here. <laughs> what do you think about that, bud? That's bad. That's your first big croaker? Oh, yeah, that's the first big one. Nice. Yeah. It's a bull croaker. Had a, had a small one. Ice box. Unless, unless you want to, uh, unless you want to put him in the live well and see if it keep, and keep him alive in case we don't catch anymore, or you just want to make some fish tacos tonight with him? Well, let's throw him in there because that ain't right. enough to too. Look for the switch there to turn on the live well. Should. As soon as I turn the camera on, you catch a fish. Look, you're showing out. <laughs> you got a fish? Yeah. Oh, All right, toe hey. zone, toe zone. Okay. There you go. Decent Come fish. On, I'm hung up on a rock again, but I ain't got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold this one for me, Dustin. You got to go ahead. No, that's a big croaker here. Hold this one. Another big croaker. All right. There you go. Good job, Coke. Yeah. All right, nice one. I didn't even swallow the hook while I was. Nice, yeah. Here, grab him, hold him up there. Let's see if we can get him on the camera here. Oh, don't put him in the camera. <laughs> Good fish. He looks bigger if I put him in the camera. Yeah, you put him, looks bigger if you put him close, huh? Yeah. Right. Hold him in there with his partner. Hold on, Dave. You get him off? Watch them barbs on his gills. Let's see, let's see you in action here. Put you on film. Yeah, he was on, and I thought I was hung up. Not our target species, but these are tasty guys. Uh -oh. I got it. You getting there? I got him. 
There he is. Toss him in the box there. Good fish, baby. Good fish tacos. I've already got a lot in the water. Well, they're down there feeding on the bottom. No sheep's head, but everybody's got one so far, so that's good. Yeah, I didn't get mine on camera. I should have had the camera on. Mine wasn't keep Y'all got keepers, though. Oh, yeah. I'm about to retie again. Ah. I've got a big boy rock this time, and it ain't giving me line, my line back. Oh, yep, I give him. A, I think I give him everything. Dang, I'm retying once again. She said fish should get suspended to tackle. All right. That's like a fish. It's moving. Is it like dead weight? You ain't got the anchor, dude. You reeling in the anchor, we start drifting, we'll know. No, you got something there. What in the world is that? Oh, she just caught it. That's a new species for the day. New species, that's a, what's that? 275, 75, 16. <laughs> Hold it up, Toke, show the world. Take my shrimp, too. Wow. You know, you rubber, radial. rubber radial fish. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this in the boat. We'll throw yeah, we'll throw that away later. We'll throw that away back, yeah. Because that does not, uh, that will never go away. This is not. You didn't get the random catch of the day award. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 275, 75, 14. I am retying for the fourth time today. I've caught every rock out here next to the jetty. Uh, we've had a lot of luck in the past, especially coming in the spring when the spawn is on, which by the way, if y'all have never fished that, it is so much fun out here. Anywhere there's structure near the beach, near shore, these sheep said they are some pound for pound some fighters and good eating too. Uh, I don't know if my license will be in by then with the Coast Guard, but if it is, uh, we will be running charters for sheep's head in the morning and the evenings. Uh, if not, we'll still be running them through the summer and into the fall, especially in the uh, late fall, the sheep's head start getting fired up. So that's something you can get on board with too later on in the year if you're down here. Quit boring you guys now. Let's get back in the water. See if we can find a fish. You guys think I downsized. I went down to the 12 pound setup. Ooh, we're just about out of our four carbon liter. We need to order some. That's the 15 pound Rikimaru. Rikimaru. I don't know how you say that. But I bought it on Amazon. Some Ricky Martin four carbon. Nah, that's been good stuff. I really. It's got a slight pink color to it. The vanishing four carbon. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, back at it. I'm gonna go back on the bow here. Hopefully, I don't go swimming like I almost did earlier. I'm towards the sun, man. All right, don't excuse me there, buddy. Right up in your business there. I'm fishing the new 3000 PC Fun Reel I bought. It's really one of the first times I've tried it. Spent most of the holidays sick in the house. Got it paired up to a star rod I had. I actually had my old Shimano on the star here. Switched them out.
think it's got my shrimp. Something did, yeah. I thought I felt him down there. Some of the boat traffic is finally calmed down. Yeah. To be honest, fishing this bow is tough. Uh oh. I get it. Uh oh, I got like 14 of them here. Oh crap. Here, let's take that big one there. Uh -huh. I like a smaller shrimp for sheep's head. I'm gonna go straight toward the dude in the red shirt up there. And the old PC fun will dang near get it there with this 12 pound line braid. Go, yeah, go, go over me right here. Go over me. You're good. We work it out. Oh, I think your shrimp landed in the boat. I thought I seen something come off. That was a fabulous looking cast. I ain't never seen that move before. I like a ballet move. Ooh, I'm around some rocks right there. The gaff top gimp. Yeah. Gaff top gimp in it. <laughs> oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Felt like it didn't feel like a cheese bag. Yeah, I'm on, but I don't think it may be a sheep. Don't feel like a sheep, though. If it is, he's small. Maybe he don't know he's hooked good yet. Nah. I'll just flop him up in the boat here. Oh, big old, big old mangrove. Yeah, we might throw a tape on him. He might be a keeper. Uh, he may be 11 and a half, I'm betting. That's a pretty little mangrove. Yeah, he's dark. Yeah, I don't think he's going to quite go 12. We'll see. It'd be nice to have three in the box for us to make some tacos tonight with. Jenny, that gummit. Y'all tangled again? Yes. Yes. Oh, hey, I tell you what, reach right inside the door there. Oh, y'all are tangled. Here, don't step on my rod there. <laughs> yeah, I've been fighting it out. Excuse me, baby. I'm going to get me a crappie measuring stick out here. Oh, look at this. You done caught a gas top. All right. Don't beat him, don't beat my man up now. <laughs> don't beat don't be beating my man up now. So I picked up a little something for these mangrove snapper to make them a little easier to measure. The old copy oh, board. Grip and check. It's some them toothy critters is tough to measure sometimes, so let him flop on down in there. Let's see what he looks like. He can't bite me. You're welcome. He Thank is <laughs> Ten and a half. Ah. So it's his lucky day. He's going back home. Yeah. Got to mount that on the boat somewhere. Yeah, that actually wouldn't be a bad spot for it right there. Handy little tool. It's actually for measuring crappie, but I think those are about as close to crappies we're going to get in the salt water. Y'all want to move? Y'all want to move it inshore? Which we're kind of inshore here, but. <laughs> you got a gaff top. <laughs> got a gaff top again. <laughs> you know what? I was out there first. Uh -oh. See, Toki don't catch gaff tops. Toki catches keepers. <laughs> Jenny catches catfish. Today she's Jenny. <laughs> Actually, she's got a keeper croaker in the box. You know what? I'm out and check the aerator to see how it's working. It's almost just dra draining properly. What the crap is this? Dude, you just ripped, ripped the guts out of something, dude. <laughs> right? What in the world? Apparently. Oh, that is Look at that. I don't know what this is. What in the world? I really don't want to touch it. Yeah, I, mean, I thought I had a really small fish on, but dude, that is something. Yeah. Toss that back. That's energy. That looks like a space alien in there. We've caught a tire today, a space alien, and Jenny has Jenny is reeling in the jetties right now. No, y'all go ahead and fish for a minute. Uh, I'm gonna tinker with a few things. I'll show the new boat here. Fish, good fish. Nice, Toke. Toki is back in action. Go, go. 
dip net and lost its handle, but where is it? I'm not still sure using it. Pretty good fish or small? Either way, we'll use a dip net. Oh, big croaker, guys. Another croaker. All right, we hit the croaker for dinner tonight before we go. I didn't need to do that, but you could have eaten it. But <laughs> I could have. <laughs> Felt like dipping a net on a new boat. Wow, he's bigger than the other one. Good one. Pull them all. Stick in the rod holder there. We're on the skillet. Make some croaker tacos. That's some good one. That's a fatty toke. Fatty right in the bottom lip. Hold him up sideways where we can see him good. <laughs> Grab him by, uh, yeah. Grab him like this. Yeah, get him unhooked. Let me put this thing out of our way. You hear him? Yeah, he's croaking at you. Sound like he's shooting at you. <laughs> Hold him out where we can see him there. Don't let him go. Nice. Croker tacos. Not the target species, but we got a few for dinner tonight. Let's take two left. Is he going to do it again? No. There, there you go. go. Maybe they can hear it. <laughs> He's talking to you, grunting. Croaking at you. I like that new bait well now. So guys, I forgot to mention, yes, we are on a new boat. We're out here having a great afternoon. It's beautiful in Orange Beach today. The temperatures were perfect. But uh, the biggest thing I forgot to mention, other than we bought a new boat, is the charter business. We are going to be opening a full-blown charter fishing, near shore, inshore, surf fishing, uh, land-based inshore. We have got a mix of stuff coming to, coming for this spring and summer. I'm waiting on the Coast Guard to approve my license. I've passed everything. It's just a waiting period now. Uh, we bought the new boat. This is a 21-foot Caravelli Key Largo. It's going to be equipped with a spotlight trolling motor. It's got a 154-stroke Yamaha. Great boat. We are out here testing it today. We're targeting sheep's head today. We didn't catch any, but we did catch a few fish. We found some big bull croakers, a few mangroves, and we had a good time. So we're going to have, by the time this video is up, the website should be launched. You're going to be able to find us at catchitlocal.com. We're going to have a wholesale tackle store on there. Come on and get soft plastics, rigs, everything at a discount price. We bought a whole lot of tackle store out, two different places. So we've got enough to last for a long time. Get on there, save some money with us. We're going to have our own rigs we tie. A little bit of everything going in this merchandise, hoodies, shirts, fishing shirts, uh, you name it, all kinds of stuff. And we're looking forward to a great summer. This boat is going to be awesome. I can't wait for you guys to come fish on it with us. Get with Gaff Top on the beach, get with Toki on the beach, moms, kids. Okay, you don't want to go out with a burly old fisherman like me or Gaff Top. We understand Toki will be taking you to the beach doing some surf fishing. She is good. She will take care of you. You don't have to deal with the burly old fisherman like us. Bring your kids down, Mom. If you don't know much about surf fishing, don't worry about it. She can handle it. You guys come out and have a good time with us. My boy Herm is in Pensacola. Herm is going to be running the inshore land base. If you guys are afraid of the boats, don't want to get out here. I get it. People get seasick. Herm can put you on the redfish and the specs all summer long, all year long if you want to. He fishes day in, day out. Great guy. All land base. We've got you set up over there. We're going to be setting up shop there. By the time this video drops, I don't know if everything will be licensed and in motion yet, but the website should be up. Again, it's catchitlocal.com. Come on there, get your merch, get your tackle, book a trip with us for this summer. The boat trips won't be able to be booked until our captain's license comes through, but that is coming. It will be available by late spring. Uh, but go ahead, get a land-based trip with us. We're going to be getting all that set up locally here soon. So get on the website, check it out, give us your feedback, take a look at any of our videos. We appreciate you. Folks, keep it good times and tight lines.